it though and started my bag late so I'm hooked up right now. Me and my mom are going to go for a walk and um, I think Adrian will probably get me in like three or four hours but everything's all packed up for that so anyway um, I'm still waiting um, on my friend. The surgeon I guess hasn't spoken to him yet or is on vacation or something so um, I'm gonna see how he's doing and I'll keep you guys updated um, but he did get admitted to the hospital last night so anyway I'm gonna brush my teeth and everything and go down with my mom and I'll see you guys soon good morning little kittens uh oh oh <gasps> how sweet how sweet how sweet my babies Oh. Sorry, my hand's shaking. And hello over there. Hello, little ones. Oh, good morning, everybody. Oh. How sweet, I can't deal with this. Oh, good morning, guys. Right? Good morning. So I'm getting blood drawn and then once I get, for my neuro neurologist, and then once I get the blood drawn, um, we are going to, it's a different hospital, it's not the hospital I use, it's a smaller hospital, um, but it's kind of close, so we're going to just go over and see my friend. Please guys, um, keep them in your prayers, uh, they don't really have a treatment plan yet, so they're still trying to figure out what to do and what's going on, so just keep praying for them guys. Look at everything. For a few days. Hey guys, so you're on like my um, dresser for um, my all my IV stuff. So sorry, this is a terrible angle. I'm back with Adrian's. I have a lot to update you guys on. Um, I went. I went this morning to see my friend. Um, and he's in, he's in really bad shape right now and they can't get his pain under control um, like pretty much at all and he's on very 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 strong medications um, and mixing and nothing's working so they found a mass in his abdominal like cavity that runs pretty much about a foot long, a foot, tie, a foot high, and then like a solid like five or six inches like back. And so his stomach, it's like a two bricks. Like he is so distended. It's unreal. Like it's so crazy. So me and my mom were with him for a few hours and we were talking to his parents and we were just kind of like hanging out and trying to give him some time to get his mind off of everything. Um, but they just don't know if the... They don't know if the growth is, um, they know it's a tumor, it's a solid mass, but they don't know what kind of tumor, um, so he's going to have a biopsy t tonight or tomorrow, and um, then from there figure out what they're going to do. They obviously, no matter what it is, they have to remove it, um, but they, um, they just don't know the, the type or what it is, they have no idea. And he really can't even move because um, the abdominal pain is so bad that even if he lifts his arm up, he like can't cause us too much pain. So please send prayers, positive vibes, all of that stuff. Um, I've been taking screenshots on Instagram of people that are sending him thoughts. So um, I've been sending them to him. So I really appreciate it if you guys um, commented to just tell him that we're thinking about him and that he can get through this and we're all here for him and stuff. I'd really, really appreciate it if you guys could do that, so.
that is pretty much the update. We The Yankee game's on right now. We might go to Whole Foods just to get coffee so I can do cold brew, um, but we'll see. I'm not sure if I want to do that or not. So just wanted to update you guys. I'm just putting all my stuff away. Hey guys, so the Yankees won. Um, it's 7.15. I'm just trying to have some food. Now that I have pain medication, I feel a lot safer kind of forcing myself to eat more because I can pull myself out of a really bad like episode and situation. Um, so I'm going to try to deal with that because I haven't gained any more weight. Um, I think it's been six or seven weeks and I've only gained three pounds. So I want to try to get that going and um, we might be going for smoothies. Adrian's craving a smoothie really bad. And then basically for the rest of the night, I mean like all I want to do really is plan, um, plan stuff with um, starting this like herb garden and stuff. I kind of want to start finalizing plans a little bit more and figuring out what I want to make and how I want to do it and stuff like that. So I want to do that and um, I'm just chilling out right now. I'm going to check out some stuff on YouTube. It's just getting dark, which is really nice, and we, sh we just, yeah, we're just showing. So. Oh, the vlogs, though. Um, I've been really bad about getting them up. I think I have to put one up today. I don't even remember. So I'm sorry. It's been, like, a little bit weird the past few days, but I'm going to have to go fix that. It's the first time I've seen fog like this in a while. Not anything special, but it's cool. Wasn't expecting this. So I'm having a really weird problem with my skin on my face. The past two days it's been like flushed, but then it doesn't feel soft, I guess. And um, it feels dry, but it's weird. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So what I'm doing is I mixed coconut oil with coffee grounds and I'm going to scrub my face. Then I'm going to put on a Dead Sea face mask and then um, I'm going to put coconut oil just to hydrate it and hopefully this helps, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Alright, so this is now coming off. I'm going to be washing it off and putting the mask on. Okay, so now I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes or so. Hopefully either a mixture of everything or one of these things helps my skin calm the hell down. So, see you guys soon. Hey guys, so we still have the mask on. I think I'm gonna keep this on for a little while. Longer, maybe a few hours. I don't know if that really makes a difference, but, um, yeah, I just want to figure out what's, what's going on with my skin and if I can fix it. And I'm just gonna use regular coconut oil um, as a hydrator because I don't want to put chemicals on something that I'm not sure like what it is. I don't know if this makes any sense, but um, Adrian had a really cool event with his um, team at work uh, yesterday, but they had like super overly authentic like Asian food and he's really sick from it today. So I'm getting Zofran from him. I gave him some activated charcoal. And I'm just trying to get everything a little bit more comfortable for him. Oh, yeah. Victor's the guy? Victor's the guy that freaking... Oh, oh really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and because he told me. Uh -huh. <laughs>